Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome back to our coverage from the Bristol Sound and Vision Show which took place over the weekend the 20th to the 22nd of February. In this video we look at the small number of display technologies on show with projector company Sim2 again producing a great demo with a new 3-chip DLP product. Well, we've um, introduced a new 3-chip uh, DLP projector, the C3X Lumis Host. So we've got this on show um, alongside uh, presenting on a 235 SMX screen. And uh, the C3X Lumis Host is uh, an advance on the standard C3X. Uh, the Host stands for High Definition Optical Signal Transfer. And basically you have the separate media box and uh, where you can connect all your sources locally and then send a single fiber optic uh, cable up to the projector. Uh, this aids installation so for the custom installation market it's quite simple just to run one cable and it also alleviates some problems that people experience with long HDMI cable runs um, because with the optical cable you can run it to uh, up to a maximum of 250 meters so it's a very very flexible uh, system. We've also uh, included dynamic black for the first time on a three chip projector and this has been able to then to produce contrast ratios in excess of 30,000 to 1. So the original C3X was impressive, I think you agree, and uh, the new product is even further. So we've raised the bar again even further. Brighter lamp, so the user can adjust the output from 1,000 lumens up to 3,000 lumens, so for the small screen and for the big screen. So it's a very flexible uh, product. New style, new cabinet design, and uh, you know, it's in keeping with the uh, traditions of SIM2. Now obviously uh, we're in an age now of high definition. Uh, we've been showing high definition in our stand, you've shown high definition here. People are starting to get high definition now and they don't want just 50 inch or 60 inch TVs. Are you finding that, that the projector market is actually expanding? For us as a company um, we are seeing growth and uh, it uh, is uh, when people come and see the demonstrations they realize one they don't need to be in a full blackout scenario uh, the projectors are powerful enough the screens are flexible enough to give you the you know, ultimate experience especially if you want to watch sport or gaming playstation xbox fans that kind of thing um, so yes you know, large screen as we've always said you know big screen it's not with a 50 inch display it's with something that's eight feet ten feet wide so yes we are seeing very positive results now it's not only projectors uh, that you're showing this year we've also got a display <coughs> display panel with uh, LED backlighting local dimming Dolby vision on board maybe you can tell us a little bit about that yes well we've been um, promoting the the idea of this technology for for some time now and uh, we're finally getting to the situation of uh, uh, producing a finished product and um, there'll be announcements sort of throughout the year. But the display that we have uh, here is a 47 inch uh, product um, utilizing over 2,000 LEDs which are independently controlled. Um, using an LED backlight is not necessarily new now, they, they, they are about, but with the, the Dolby Vision display it's the controlling of over 2,000 LEDs independently versus others with lower quantities and local dimming as it's, it's often called. Um, <clears throat> the contrast ratios are phenomenal, black level is, is amazing and the depth of the image is, is quite remarkable and the reaction has been very very positive so we're very pleased with that. So hopefully we'll have some news towards the, middle of the, towards the end of the year on when the product will be out. Now obviously there's uh, lots of movement in display technology at the moment, we've got LCD, LEDs, plasma, projection, which way do you see us moving in the next few years? I think f for projection the lighting source will have uh, an impact. Um, you will see projectors using LED technology to, to illuminate so that will eliminate the lamp um, instant on longer uh, lifetimes. Um, in terms of the output of LED uh, for three chip projection to, to get those lumens that will be a little while uh, yet before the lamp is completely replaced. But for, for us, because there is talk of 3D, uh, this is being seen in commercial theatres and I think we will see that come out into the consumer uh, markets eventually. So it's, I think it's very, very exciting and uh, it, you know, it's, it's 
it's great entertainment, which is all important. As you know, the AV Forum stand were showing the outgoing Pioneer LX5090 screens with complete ISF calibration. And please allow us to blow our own trumpet for a moment, probably the best looking images on the show floor. It's truly sad to see such great products disappear. I'm here at the AWE stand and they're currently showcasing Panasonic's 65 inch Full HD Professional Plasma Monitor. Now with the current situation with Pioneer sadly pulling out displays altogether, it remains to be seen whether these displays or displays like them will become a viable second choice. To wrap up our display coverage, we stopped by JVC who were not only showing their DILA projectors, but a new monitor aimed at the custom installation market. The projectors were also shown for the first time with anamorphic lenses. So in our demonstration room, as you just mentioned, we have our D750 and the D350 and we wanted to show off the D750 with the new anamorphic lens system that Genesis Technologies have kindly uh, researched for us and match with the new 750. So how are you finding uh, the public perception of, of the new projectors? Um, very well actually. Um, sales apps confirmed that and uh, they like the, the, the advancements that we've made in terms of the DLA technology, the high contrast ratios that we've now achieving, uh, the new design as a basic, as a simple statement. But yes, it's been very favourable overall. And uh, it's not just projectors that we're talking about this year in terms of displays. You have a new display um, tell us about that. Well, we have the new um, LT42 WX70, uh, and this particular television set is really for the CI market. Uh, that set has RS232 control, uh, calibration modes for, for colour, contrast, etc. Uh, it's just part of the super slim family, so this will be our flagship model, initially in a 42 inch. So it's 43 millimetres straight through. So, what I mean by that is there's no tuner or media box within the unit. Um, but in terms of picture quality, so it's a full HD set with 24 frame, as you'd expect. Um, but it's 100 hertz clear motion drive too, so it's a multi-directional clear motion drive uh, technology that we're using. Um, all the conventional connections that you'd expect on a full HD set. Uh, but we're very, very confident it would be um, excellent for the, the, the CI market. In addition to that, um, we have various preset modes for things like it will resolve 96% of the Adobe color space, 100% of the sRGB color space. Uh, it has an XV color space mode as well. So in terms of performance, we feel that for an LCD, it would be uh, an excellent addition to the market. And that wraps up our coverage of the Bristol Show products. In our final video, we set out to ask some very hard questions about the current financial crisis and the AV industry. So be sure to tune in again very soon.